Good morning to you, my friends. I'm Corkin. This is Satisfactory. And today, we need to be getting some things back home. I need to start my train station actually trucking things around. Because I'm about to fill up on my... Uh, a fill up on iron. And I don't really want to do that. It wouldn't really cause too much of a problem. But I just want to be able to run at maximum... Uh, capacity. You see, I had to add a third container on here because these two were absolutely stuffed up and uh, they're gonna keep being that way for the foreseeable future unless I can get these trains going. So I think it's time to actually start making uh, the trip back home. But to do that, I need to get my steel uh, production going because that's the second ingredient that I need to be bringing back home with me. So I need to go back and pick up some supplies to make foundries, because I don't have any of those things. I also am straight up out of concrete, which is what we ran into last time being the issue. I might actually have some rotors and frames. Well, I have frames, no rotors. So, yeah, I'm going back home for a little bit. Uh, maybe it'd be better if I used the forward-facing train. I don't know if it goes faster forward or reverse. I don't think it really matters. But this is the way I'm gonna do it. I also think that getting some more power would be a good idea. There's a lot of things that we can do. You know what would be super, super cool? Is if this train connected directly to my base instead of down below, you know? That would be awesome. But I don't know if that's a wise decision. I've been thinking about it. Like just building a sky bridge out of those platforms building the track along it, and then just getting rid of them. So it's a floating train track. That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? I don't know. There are issues with it, I'm sure, but I think it'd be cool to have the train stop at the top. I don't know. It could just be a crazy dream. But it's nice for a man to dream everyone- every Oh boy! Get off my train! Stop- Sir? Okay, I guess he's just coming along. Um... Oh, watch out. Watch your head. Okay, at least he doesn't have a hitbox up there. Um, okay, bud. Um, this is not exactly a wise choice for transport. Oh, see you later. That was something. Didn't expect to see that. So, uh, well, at least it made the trip home exciting. Oh, boy. I'm really glad I can't just jump off the edge of the track. Hey, Toby. I kind of want to get this situated before anything else. I want to change the name of this to home base just so that I can avoid any confusion. Don't leave any unattended crates on the platform. I feel like that's more of a suggestion than a command. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave my things unattended. So I need lots of concrete. I need tons of concrete. I need rotors and I probably should make the, uh, train station part over here, shouldn't I? Uh, freight platform. Uh, uh, I need, I need, hmm. I need the train station to be over here, don't I? Isn't that the way it's, hmm. Is that the case? Is that the case? Oh, did I not save the name? You know what, it doesn't really matter because yeah, I didn't. It doesn't matter because I need to delete that station anyways and build a new one. So, hold on just a second, guys. I need to do some renovating. Uh, also, I should probably have the things that I need to build the train freight platforms, which I don't. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get those things. I need cable and concrete, really, are the two basic things that I don't have. So... I need to find my cable box. Oopsie. Cables. Here you go. Well, here I go. Take a whole bunch of them. And concrete. There it is. There's the stupid concrete. I'm actually using more concrete than I'm making. That's concerning. Um, <laughs> because of all the encased beams I'm making. Uh oh. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Concrete's worthless. No one likes concrete. I should have everything I need if I delete this thing. Okay. And then I uh, pull out a little train track. Can't afford. I forgot my beams. Do I have beams here? Uh, I really hope so. 
I don't want to have to go back up. Okay, good, I do. I do. We're fine. Just fine. And I'm going to put the train station all the way at the back. And then we're going to make some freight platforms. Or put this here. And then I'm just going to extend this as far as I can. And like that. I made it turn. I made it turn. That's no good. No good. Four. Over here. Be nice and in line. There we go. Now I can build the train station. Uh, floor is too steep. Um, why? Okay, I forgot that I'm supposed to build the train station first. Okay, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. I had to just remember these things. Floor is too steep. What are you talking about? Okay, I guess that's as good as it's gonna get. So we can get rid of this section of train, and I'm gonna need more of those frames. Uh, seven? Freight platform. Good. Okay, put it here, and then put it here. Nice. Okay. That should do it. Hamburg. This is not in Hamburg, I hate to tell you. Uh, let's just uh, call this home base, and then hit enter. Have an efficient day. Thank you so much. Uh, okay, good. It's, it's renamed now. Okay, now I need to reconnect this to the power. <gasps> I just remembered power over at the other base is stopped now. Ah, that's no good. That's no good. I just built a power pole. I want to power lock. Can I please connect this over here, please? There we go. I was looking at the freight platform. Okay, are we good now? I forgot. That's a disaster. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're good. Now I can attach the train to the things. Yes. Okay, now we are set up to deliver. Kind of. We do have our things on the wrong side. So this is going to be unload. This is going to be unload. But we don't have anything to unload yet. So we need to take all the stuff that I have now. Do we have enough frames? Do we have enough frames over there? Or in our box? We should. Yeah, we've got frames. Um, I think that's everything we need. Uh, Miner Mark II. Takes some case beams. and Yeah, we've got plenty. We've got plenty of stuff. Let's go. Oh no, not again. Not again. Okay, good. We missed him. Phew. I don't want to have that nightmare happen again. Why do these guys walk so close to the tracks? Stop. You must stop. Are you just attracted to something? Oh, look at this weird thing in my environment. Let me go investigate. And then I come along and sweep you off your feet. There's so many of them on this train. What have I done? I must have driven right through their homeland or something. Now we should have everything we need to build the foundries, get steel production going, and then we can send stuff home. And then we can start taking advantage of this bounty. So let's rename this place to uh, Outpost Factory. That's a good name. Have an efficient day. You too. You know what, train station? You too. You have a fantastically efficient day yourself. Now all I need to do is build these foundries, get these miners going, and then start uh, smelting into... Uh, wait, no, it's not smelted, it's just ore. So, uh, we're good on that. This bush is in the way. I'm gonna pick it. Pick all the bushes. Get out of my way, bush. Here we go. Now, I can uh, also build this platform. We're running out of time. We have to do this quickly. Otherwise, the things are gonna get full. And... Can't afford... Where did all my encased beams? I put all my encased beams on the train. Why? Why I do this to myself? It's okay. This is why I want to have a fully functioning factory over here, so I don't have to keep relying on having stuff on the train. I want to be able to have the things that I need over here. But that's going to take a long time to get this place completely self-sufficient. I don't even know if it's ever going to happen. I'm kind of lazy. There we go. Now let's get to power. Power these bad boys. And one for you and one for you. So these things are going. 
let's get over to we're gonna make these super speed but first let's put down the foundries so we've got two streams of coal and those are two oh my goodness auto save shoots me into the air those are two fresh uh, coal things I don't really know the other way to describe it but that is like two full coal things it's, you know what I'm talking about even though I can't put it into words you're smart you don't need me to explain everything for you um, let's be also smart and uh, I wish I could get rid of these trees can I just squash them okay the answer to that is no I cannot squash them uh, let's put the foundries down here facing this way like this boop boop and boop makes it easier to access them so I think three foundries from one coal deposit should be 100% doable so if I take a splitter and I just go like this, put the input over here, and then say, hey you, get over, nope, hey you, get over here, and then I kind of go like this, this, and this, and then I also get another splitter, and I put its input over here. And then I come over to this guy, put the input here, and then go, what? Go here, here, and then one more over here. Intersecting, doesn't matter. And those things are fully loaded. Let's get the power going just to see what kind of production speed we've got. So we've got this guy, this guy, and this guy. Ah. Okay, and you're gonna produce steel ingots. Yeah, they're filling up real fast. Steel ingots, and steel ingots. I'm pretty certain that I could do more than just these three, but I don't know for sure. So I'm gonna be safe and just do three for now because that's gonna produce a lot of ingots. Um, and I can do three more with another set of, uh, with the other set of minor uh, coal and iron. I'm having, I'm struggling today, guys. This will do for a second one. Let's put some more foundries right over here. Put the inputs here. We'll just do one, two, and three. It's not as efficient as the first setup. Oh, so the limiting factor is iron here. That's interesting. It is still filling up, though. More than it's being emptied out, I think. Uh, Actually, it might be emptying it out. Okay, so it seems like the Miner Mark II can uh, supply... Yeah, that's normal. That's normal. So it seems like the coal is good, but the iron isn't as good. But it's still good enough, in my opinion. So I think it'll be just fine. Yeah, it is using the iron faster than... It. Okay, so three is the maximum for the for the iron which is okay it's okay I'm not in huge dire need for steel but having more steel would mean that I can make things so much faster so let's work on this second set we'll get ourselves some logistics over here we're gonna loop them around a little bit just a touch can I <laughs> come on there we go and bingo now we've got two Sets of foundries, absolutely chugging out. Oh man, absolutely chugging out steel ingots. I've got iron ingots and steel ingots and they're ready to be packaged up and sent home. This is good. But I also need a lot more of these encased beams, please and thank you. Just to keep things super speedy. Why do I have these things? Get out of my inventory. Get out of my inventory. I need to power these things. I need to power them. Um, can I make you into a... Oh, you are a pole mark too. That's fantastic. That's awesome. Okay. Now these are working. Set them to steel ingots. I wish they would just decide that on their own. But you know what? Sometimes, sometimes it needs a little bit of help. Let's get the last conveyor going. You to over here. Nice. And that is a ton of steel. 
and I'm very happy. So, I think it's time to start piping it up to here. So we've got uh, load and load. So let's make let's make this happen. Okay, so what do I need to do? I need to take this. Oh, it's just too long. Oh, please. <laughs> That's so sad. I've got a solution to this problem. I have a solution. All I have to do is make this platform a little bigger up here. Perfectly acceptable solutions. There we go. Nice. Now, we can just bring it directly up here. Perfect. Okay. One. And two. And three. Nice. Okay. So this is all of our steel ingots. Well, half of them, really. I do have to merge at some point. So... Let's put, hmm, I've got six outputs and only four inputs. Oi, that's not enough inputs. I need more inputs. What's the guy supposed to do? Uh, let's say, let's say, um, hmm, what are we talking about here? What do I need to do? Okay, I'm thinking, I'm thinking a little bit too ahead of myself. Obviously, we're going to need some logistics. We're going to need some mergers. It's just going to have to happen, guys. I'm sorry. It's just the way it is. I'm so confused by these arrows sometimes. Okay, so output is over there. Let's just put it here and turn it little bits. There we go. Okay, so we're going to go like this. And this. Are going to be in one. They will go over here. Okay, you know what? The problem is, it actually only has two inputs. That's really not enough inputs. But you know what? I'm flexible, just like these conveyor belts. So, we'll just put three into one, because these are outputs, apparently. That's fun. I love that. And then we'll just put the other three into the other one. That's fine. Not even a problem. A creature is in the way. Creature, could you please get out of the way? Foreman, you're really putting an impediment to progress here. I don't know what to tell you. It's kind of shameful. Conveyor belt is too long. Okay, at least this time it's not your fault. Thank you for moving slightly. I appreciate that very much. I know it's your favorite place to nap. Trust me, I've seen it. You can't hide it from me. I've seen you napping on the job. It's a little bit silly. But you know what? I can turn a blind eye. You're a good foreman. You do a good job. Alright, now we've got tons of uh, steel ingots being pumped into this area. This is good. I'm kind of concerned at the lack of iron, though. Because look at that. It's it's such a such a small amount. This one's full. Wait, what? how did this one get so full? Wait, what? What's going, what's going on here? How did it all of a sudden catch up? What? Is this one catching up? Did it just take some time? I guess they are catching up. Interesting. Interesting. Huh. I guess it was just a slight, slight bit shorter or longer. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's working fine now. So we're good. So this is all, uh, this is all set. We've got tons of steel. And now we just need to get the iron up here. And then we can start bringing it home. And start using it. Ooh, this is exciting. So... I know that only two inputs exist on the platform. That's okay. I've got two boxes that I can take the stuff from. So that works out. Can't afford. Are you kidding me? The very last conveyor. Come on, don't take this moment from me. Let me have this. Please. I need this. I need this to be true. And I'm running out. But it's okay. Still have enough. I still have enough. It's fine. Whoa. Okay. And let's just make it happen. And boom. All right. We've got steel and iron. I wish I could make it fill up faster. But there's only two inputs. Eh. 
Okay, it's fine. It'll even out eventually because I feel like the train is going to take over more than it loads up anyways because it's not a super long train track. It's just really unoptimized and windy. That's the only problem I have, but it's okay. It's a small problem to have. Now I need to take the train home, unload the stuff that I have in it, and then I can set this train to moving. And that'll be awesome. Here's what's going to happen, guys. Um, the train is all ready to be operable. But I'm not ready for the train to start operating yet because I just was thinking it's going to load up the other train stations over there and it's going to clog things up. So why get things going right now if I can't even use it? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to end the episode here, move on to the next step next time, actually getting the train functioning because I need to start setting up some boxes and some, some things that I'm actually going to use the train for. Like, uh, what am I going to use all this extra stuff for? I need to get that set up first so that I don't clog up my systems. I know that wouldn't be a huge issue, but I don't like doing that. So that's what I'm going to do. I think I'll end this episode right now. Super awesome progress. We've got everything all set up. The train stations are all ready to go. And they have fun names as well. So that nothing, no confusion, no, no confusion will occur. So that's all good. And I guess we'll see what happens next time. And until then, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this episode of Satisfactory. If you did, leave a like. And if you haven't so friend and you would like to, you can subscribe to see more Satisfactory and all the other things I post right here on this channel. And as always, guys, in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.